Okay, now we're just going to play around with a few images just quite quickly. Um, the first image we've got, we're just going to use the exposure slider here and move it up slightly just to brighten the image. Um, I'm then going to crop it just to take out this corner across to here. Um, maybe bring that down slightly there. And that's my basic editing done. I might just try um, a preset on and see if anything grabs me. Let's have a look at this one. I quite like the bleach bypass. It's gone a little bit light now because of it being a JPEG, so um, we'll just bring it down slightly more with the exposure and that's absolutely fine. So then we move on to the next one. Now I could do exactly what I did to the last one just by hitting previous if I wanted to. So let's just hit previous and see what happens. That's great. So let's leave it at that. Then we go on to the next one. Um, let's just bring the exposure up very slightly just because I like my images slightly washed out and I might make this one um, into a black and white shot. Let's just have a look on here. Um, quite like the cream tone. Again, it's going too light because it's the wrong preset. You can get lots and lots of presets online for JPEGs. I'm used to using RAW, but I'm just doing this for the purposes of this demonstration. So we'll just take that down slightly. I might just crop that light in slightly here. Maybe take it to there. Yep. It's done. And then we'll move along to this one. This one, as you can see, is a little bit underexposed here. She's slightly dark because it's very bright light around the side of this picture, and I've put her into the shade to make the picture, uh, to give her more softening on her face. So we just up the exposure slightly, but it's going to do that to the whole picture. You can do different things to different parts of the pictures, but, you know, for, the, for now, we're just doing very simple techniques to get you started. Um, okay, so let's just leave that. I might quite like to crop this in a little bit here and a little bit here. I'm just playing with these images. None of this is right or wrong. It's just entirely as I feel like doing it on the day. It's entirely up to you to decide how you want to do it. Okay. Now, this is quite underexposed because these people are running here, so you never quite know what's going to happen. It can be a bit hit and miss. So let's brighten it up a little bit, and then let's just crop this down. You never know where they're going to end up in the frame in this type of shot. So I tend to leave a lot of space around the picture and then play with it later. I quite like that sort of crop. And then this would work well, I think, in black and white. Um, I was saying black and white, that's more sepia, really, but let's just have a look at the different black and white options. What about that high contrast? Let's go with that one, see what that's like. Um, no, I don't like that, so I would go Command-Z and get rid of it. That's it. I'm just going to leave it exactly as it is and go to the next one. OK, let's just crop, expose this slightly. Okay, can you just expose this slightly, and we're just going to crop this down slightly to here to give it a nicer shape. I quite like all this space on the right side, um, so I'm quite happy with that. And we'll go on to the next one, and we'll just brighten this up again slightly. In fact, no, we won't. We'll go to black and white first, because it does tend to brighten it too much over here. So let's try... Oh, that's quite nice. That's a blue one. Let's go with that. That's gorgeous. Suddenly we've got a really interesting shot. I like that. Let's um, crop across here a little bit just to get, make it a bit more tighter composition. Maybe a little bit lower here. And then we're done. Okay, so now I've just tweaked my images, a few images slightly. As I say, if you've got a hundred images in there, you can do all sorts of things to do them in batches at the same time and things like that. But that's just too complicated to learn right now. Um, so I just do a few simple little things like that just to get us started.